If the set B containing the vectors B sub 1 through B sub n is an ordered basis for a vector space V and vector X is a vector in V, then vector X is equal to some linear combination of the basis vectors B sub 1 through B sub n. These scalars C sub 1 through C sub n are called the coordinates of vector X relative to the basis B. The coordinate matrix or coordinate vector of vector X relative to B can be denoted two common ways. First we have the coordinates of vector X relative to the basis B, or we have the coordinates relative to base B of vector X equals the column matrix containing the scalars C sub 1 through C sub n. So let's take a look at an example. Let's assume the gray triangle is a ramp. First we have the coordinate system relative to the standard basis vectors, which are the vectors 1, 0, and 0, 1. If we wanted to sum two vectors to reach the black point where one vector is along the ramp and the other is orthogonal to the ramp, we can use these two vectors where the vector along the ramp has coordinates 8, 4 relative to the standard basis vectors. And the second vector is the vector negative 2, 4, again relative to the standard basis vectors. And the sum of these two vectors would be the vector from the origin to the black point, this point here. Summing the two vectors, notice how the coordinates are 6, 8. This vector has coordinates 6, 8 relative to the standard basis vectors. However, at times it can be helpful to have a coordinate system that will be parallel and perpendicular to the ramp shown here on the right. And we can create this coordinate system by using the vectors 8, 4 and negative 2, 4 as basis vectors. Using these basis vectors for the coordinate system, the red vector along the ramp now has coordinates 1, 0 relative to base B because this vector is one times the first basis vector of 8, 4. And the second vector that is orthogonal to the ramp now has coordinates 0, 1 because this vector is one times the second basis vector of negative 2, 4. Using this coordinate system, the vector from the origin to the black point would be the sum of these two vectors, which would give the coordinates 1, 1. This is the coordinates for this vector relative to base B. And now let's relate the two coordinate systems. If we wanted to go from the vector 1, 1 relative to base B to the vector 6, 8 relative to the standard basis vectors, we would multiply 1 times the first basis vector of 8, 4 plus 1 times the second basis vector of negative 2, 4 which gives us the coordinates 6, 8 relative to the standard basis vectors, which is what we expect. We also want to point out how we can write the sum of these products as the 2 by 2 matrix formed using the basis vectors times the coordinates of the vector relative to base B, which does result in the vector 6, 8, which gives the coordinates relative to the standard basis vectors. We call this 2 by 2 matrix the transition matrix from B to S and we use the variable P for the matrix. And now if we wanted to go from the coordinates 6, 8 relative to the standard basis vectors to a vector using the coordinates relative to base B, we would need the transition matrix from S to B, which is equal to the inverse of the transition matrix from B to S. So the coordinates of vector X relative to base B is equal to, again, the inverse of the transition matrix from B to S, which we have here on the left, times the coordinates of the vector relative to the standard basis vectors, which for this example gives us the coordinates 1, 1, which are the coordinates for the vector relative to base B. So let's go back to our notes and summarize. To convert a vector from coordinates relative to base B to coordinates relative to the standard basis vectors, we need to find the product of the transition matrix from B to S, which is formed using the basis vectors from set B, and the coordinates of vector x relative to base b. Again, this matrix P from b to s is called the transition matrix from b to s. And to convert a vector x from coordinates relative to the standard basis s to the coordinates relative to basis b, we solve the equation above for the coordinates of vector x relative to base b, which involves finding the inverse of the transition matrix from b to s, which we see here on the right, the coordinates of vector x relative to b is equal to the inverse of the transition matrix from b to s times the coordinates of vector x relative to the standard basis s. So this inverse matrix is equal to the transition matrix from s to b, which is what we need to go from 
coordinates in S to coordinates in B. Let's take a look at two examples. If the coordinates of vector x relative to base B are negative two, five, then what are the coordinates of vector x relative to the standard basis vectors? We can do this two ways. Using the definition, we know the coordinates of vector x relative to the standard basis vectors is equal to the first coordinate of negative two times the first basis vector of one, one, and then plus the second coordinate of five times the second basis vector of one, negative one. Simplifying, we have negative two times one plus five times one, which is three, and then we have negative two times one plus five times negative one, which is negative seven. We can also find the coordinates of vector x relative to the standard basis vectors by determining the transition matrix from B to S, and then multiplying by the coordinates of vector x relative to base B. The transition matrix is formed using the basis vectors from B, and therefore the first column is one, one, the second column is one, negative one, and we are given the coordinates of vector x relative to base B, which are negative two, five. And this product will give us the same result of the vector three, negative seven, which are the coordinates of the vector relative to the standard basis vectors. And then number two, we wanna go in the opposite direction. We are given the coordinates of vector x using the standard basis vectors are four, negative eight, and we're trying to find the coordinates of vector x relative to base B. So the coordinates of vector x relative to base B is equal to the transition matrix from S to B times the coordinates of vector x relative to the standard basis vectors, and the transition matrix from S to B is equal to the inverse of the transition matrix from B to S times the coordinates of vector x relative to the standard basis vectors. So we have the inverse of the matrix above, which is the matrix one, 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 negative one, and then times the coordinates of the vector relative to the standard basis vectors, which we know are four, negative eight. So the next step is to find the inverse of this matrix, which I've already done to save a little bit of time. The first row is one half, one half, and the second row is one half, negative one half. Multiplying, we have one half times four plus one half times negative eight. That's two plus negative four, which is negative two. And then for the second entry, we have one half times four plus negative one half times negative eight, which is two plus four, which is six. I hope you found this helpful.